everybody and welcome back to my channel my name is Cabria the channel name is I am Cabria and <laughs> for usual your girl's been pushing out videos for usual if you want to see how I created this beautiful nighttime sunset smoky eye with a wing you want to see how I did that then go ahead and keep watching make sure you like comment subscribe share follow I think I listed everything but I don't really know Oh, turn your post notifications on. So yeah, <laughs> if you want to see how I got this beautiful look, then I suggest you keep watching. And also make sure you check out other videos from my channel. I will see you in the next one. <sighs> okay. I had to bring it in and it's like super hot right now. I don't know why it's so hot in my house, but maybe it is. So um, I wanted to do like a little sunset kind of look i've never done one before so i was like let me get on here and play with it first to see if it comes out how i want it to come out and it looks like it's coming together in a way that i like so i want to go ahead and record it right so okay it's gonna be well did i it's not gonna be as many brushes and colors as the last video i'm not i'm not it, it might be it's, it definitely might be but we are going to start with our mm, Oh, we're going to start with our transition colors. So I'm going to get into those and we are going to use, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. We're going to use like a peach color. So I went into my Morphe and Nyan palette. And we're taking the Juice Baby Girl. We're taking the Juice Baby Girl and we're going to mix it with M and GM. So just like a pat of the two. And then we're gonna just like blend it into our crease and up. Star high and then we're gonna come down. So yeah. And I like to pat my eyeshadows in because I feel like that works better for me. But you do what you you know, do what you, do what you feel like works for you, honey. Do what you feel like works. out my eyeshadow so I'm gonna go from the inner corner to the outer corner and kind of go with how I did my eyeshadow brown when you feel like it's blended enough next you can go into your next color and we're gonna go in with a Oh my goodness gracious, it's so hot in here. Next, we're going to go in with a pink. Now, I think, not even I think, we're going to use Kobo from our Culture Juvia's Play palette. So if you've not seen my last video, make sure you go ahead and watch that and see what look I created with this lovely palette. But today we're going to be using the, where is that? Oh, the shade Kobo. It's like this nice hot pink color. We're gonna be using Kobo to kind of blend into that peach. So we got Kobo right here. And whatever you did, all you're gonna do is follow like your eyeshadow around. And you're gonna do like a nice padding motion. Like I said earlier. And you're gonna try not to go up too high to get rid of that orange color. I don't even know if you can see that good. I'm gonna bring it in somewhere. Is that better? I hope so. It should be. So I'm actually going to go ahead and blend this line out just a little bit. We're not even blending it out, you're just gonna like smudge it. So yeah. Okay, so after we did our pink or our shade Kobo, we went in with a smaller brush. 
and we got the shade not even this palette sorry i'm going back and forth between so many palettes it's a little bit like <laughs> it's a little rough for me to remember but we're gonna go into the shade edo right here I'm gonna go in with Edo and we're just gonna do like a little bit on the inside of the pink. We're gonna, I just drew like a line or like dabbed it. Not dabbed, dab, dab, dab. We dabbed it. And I'm not gonna take it like up and around. I'm just gonna kind of do like the outside and then like the inner corner. We're gonna go in with a red and this one i don't have red in either the two palettes that i pulled out today in the nyan palette or the um culture palette so i'm gonna have to dig into the forbidden palette uh the forbidden palette i'm really not gonna show but uh just know it's a forbidden palette and uh we're not supporting this one over here so yeah we're gonna go into that palette and we're gonna take out a red one, what brush do I want to use? We're going to use this little bitty brush right here. We're going to take out our red. No, I changed my mind. We're using this brush. So we're going to take out our red from the palette. Close it. Throw it back. And then we're going to line our red like right in front of the purple. Both sides. Then we're gonna go back in and we're going to kind of blend those two shades together. done on this eye on this side and we're just going to follow the lines that we already have so Go back into a little bit of the red and we're gonna dab it back. Now we're gonna go in with some orange and do um go right beside the red. And I'm gonna go in with the same orange that I used earlier, just one of them, the juice baby girl. Pink. So we're going to go back into the culture palette, the shade Kobo.
find out outward, we're gonna blend it inward. Okay, so um, I just came back. We're still in here blending and we're bringing in our orange. Yeah. Now we're going to blend the purple into the orange. So we're gonna go from the inner corner and blend that purple outward. Now we're going to do the same thing with the purple and the pink on this side. We're going to blend those inward. I'm just going to dab a little bit more pink on top after I blend this out. to the orange that we've already put down. And then next, for the fun part, we are going to go in, ooh, I missed one important step. So we're gonna go in with a brown shade, because I don't, um, when I do my eyebrows, I don't line them with concealer. So I like to go in with a separate brush, and I get a shade that's the closest to my, um, the, my skin tone that's right in between my eyebrow. And we're gonna use the shade Baby Bear in the Nyan palette. Right there, right there, right there. And I just like to kind of underline everything, like under my eyebrow. And then I just kind of like to bring that in and round out my eyeshadow. So back into the back into the baby bear. <laughs> back into the baby bear. And then we're just gonna round that out and kind of blend everything in so that it goes from my eyebrow to a smooth transition into my eyeshadow. Now I'm also going to dip into a darker shade, which is called um Wazobia from Culture Palette. Wazobia is this bottom shade that I clearly overused. So I'm gonna place the Wazobia down right under the arch of the eyebrow. Because a Wazobia also has like a warmer, like an orangey red undertone. And since we're doing such a warm look, I kind of want to use that to help blend baby bear into my eyeshadow. So, Sylvia is down, baby bear is back on. redefine that shape that we have going on. Drag it out. Now we're gonna go back in with our clean um, brush that we used earlier to blend out this side. We're gonna go back in with the same brush and blend out this side. C 
seamless like transition between one from one into the other. I'm gonna darken up right here. We're gonna go on with my favorite parts. We are going to go in in the Nyan palette in the shade Boo and B. This yellow is so beautiful to me. Like I'm just gonna I'm just gonna swipe it. I'm gonna swipe it back on this eye too. Now we're gonna just swipe onto this eyelid. And then um once I put down a little bit of boo and B, we're gonna go into this yellowy gold shade called Chai Latte, please. And we're gonna put that right on top. Now we're gonna go in the chai latte and do the same thing on this eye. Chai latte, it is so pretty. <laughs> and then I just like to go in in the brush, not the brush, the same brush that I use my purple on, and we're just gonna go back in and kind of round this out where it looks more like a halo and not just you know like we threw yellow randomly there so we're gonna go around this back out to give it the halo effect again and I kind of like to keep blending it I don't like to re-dip back into the top shade because I don't want it to be as dark I just want it to be like really faded but still blend like so and let's see i feel like i'm gonna put a little bit more orange on this eye just right right there and then we're gonna go back into our yellow and just top it off does it look the same no this one has a little bit more of the lighter yellow on it so we're just gonna the bam and boom, boom, boom. Now I just go back and forth until I make sure I get them even. And voila, they are even. It looks so freaking cute. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So do I want to put like a shimmer on top? I'm gonna ooh. Do I wanna use this? Do I wanna put this on top? No, 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 no. Cause I feel like this looks more like a nighttime beach summer set or not summer set <laughs> sunset. So um, we're going to leave it just like that. And I'm about to clean up these eyelashes or these. We're gonna clean up the eyeshadow primer and then we're gonna do the rest of the face and then. Oh, we gonna get it to the final look. So I'm about to zoom y'all out real quick. No, not that far. Let's see, let's see, let's see. With 29. Sure, we can stick with 29. Okay. So I've been obsessed with the Fenty primer. already in my filming bag okay i really don't need this primer because i'm already sweating something serious in here we're gonna put it on anyway and then of course this part is going to be sped up because i feel like i got enough like i mean my makeup routine really hasn't changed as far as my skin and when the eyeshadow look takes quite a while um then i just show i'm just gonna show the eyeshadow look so do i want to blend this out yes i do i do want to blend this out so. Oh 
Armani. I'm just having a minor heat flash. Like, I don't know what this is, but Colorado needs to uh, get it together. Like, get it together, because this is ridiculous. Okay. This one has more of the vibrant colors in it, so I think I'm gonna apply just a bit more of this um, orange in the Nyan palette. And the Juicy Whoop, the Juicy Baby Girl, is the one that my thumb is on. So we're gonna go back into that a little bit, just a little bit. Ooh, yes, ma'am. That's it. That's what she needed. That's what she needed. And we're gonna go back into that. It's just to brighten her up and make them. <sighs> oh, this is so pretty. This is so pretty. And then we're gonna go in with like the hot shade Kobo and just kind of reapply her to the center corner. Yes. Ooh, yes. Yes, yes ma'am, yes ma'am, yes ma'am. Okay, let's get into the base so the video is not ridiculously long. Um I think I want to use the same same Fenty that I always use, Fenty shade 445 foundation, primer, pro filter, it's all pro filter. Um what am I gonna do? Put this on my hand. And I do the same thing I just did, go from the bottom up. Bring a little bit down here too. And that is going to help clean up our eyeshadow. Forehead, nose, lip, chin. And I go lighter color in the L'Oreal True Match C5-6 and I like to put this right like underneath the middle of my eye but I'm also gonna leave right I'm also gonna leave right under my eye my bottom eyelid blank because we still have to close out this eye look I don't close out all of them when I say close out my eye look I just mean like I like to apply eyeshadow up under my eye too that's really what that means well that's what it means when i say it so we're gonna let this dry down i'm gonna spray <laughs> going to my favorite part we're gonna spray our morphe setting spray it smells so good too <laughs> it smells so good right now i'm about to go wet my beauty blender and i'll be right back okay so we are back with our um damp beauty blender now we're just gonna blend everything out Ebony the matchstick.
to set with Blue Okay, so probably. Ooh, ooh. Okay, so I know we look a little crazy, and the light may look. Oh, let me turn my light up all the way. Actually, there we go. The light is the light is up all the way. If you know, or if you don't know, um, my camera be overheating like nobody's business. So usually when my camera overheats and cuts off, I like to scoot over some center. I like to take that time to uh, do my outfit change <laughs> and do my hair, but my hair is in braids. So, yeah, today we just took a break and we watched um, YouTube. I'm watching Glamazante vlogs, and then yeah, we put on a little dress that matches, I guess, the makeup look. <sighs> I really think it's my setup. If I'm being for real, I really think it's my setup that's that's not with me but let me stop talking let's get to Okay, so we went ahead and applied our eyelashes. Um, we're gonna apply some ooh, some bottom eyeshadow. So now we're just gonna put like the pink shade and the shade Kobo. We're also going to use the go back into our Nyan palette and get those two beautiful oranges that we used at the beginning to make peach. Um, it was the Juice Baby Girl and. Ian, Ian, and J, M and J. I don't know, but that's what we're using. Then we're gonna go in with that lovely yellow both as it was. We're gonna put down the chai latte keys first. We're going to go in with the Boo and B on top. Okay. Ooh, let me thin that one out. Okay. I'm 
put that down and then we're gonna put on our bottom mascara this eyelash is not letting me be great they never do it's always one That get tacky. Then we're gonna move into the lips. Ooh, is this the? Oh, that's the wrong left. Okay. <sighs> Thought I was getting greasy already. get rid of whatever eyeshadow got on our real lashes now we're gonna go into the lips and i'm going to do my everyday look which is the morphe um lip line on the shade trendsetter Ooh, ooh i need to sharpen you honey And I'm gonna go in with Morphe lipstick in the shade Boo, Boo, Boo. I feel like I wear this lip combination with everything because it goes with everything. <laughs> and are we gonna do matte and matte? No, mm -mm. can't. We're gonna have to do the gloss and pop. So we're gonna go in with the shade more with the lip gloss in the shade more You know what? No, no, we're not gonna do it. We're gonna use this one. Mm. I don't think I'm gonna use that. We're gonna use the Glamazon Tay since I was just talking about her. We're gonna go in with the Glamazon Tay um, lip gloss in the shade Birthday Suit. And it smells so good. It smells like mint. It smells so good. And it's really thick too, so I just do like a dab here and there. Spray the face. I do everything. We set, we spray, we did this, this. I really think we did. My favorite part. And then I like to go back on top with my beauty blender and kind of just press all of that in. And yes. And yes, <laughs> so that is the oh, wait a minute, let me take, let me take the hip the foundation up and then I forgot hello everybody and welcome back to my channel my name is Cabria the channel name is I am Cabria and if you have not done so already make sure you share you like you comment you subscribe you leave me a message you follow me on Instagram you you do whatever you gotta do to make sure you keep seeing videos if you want to continue to see or I don't know 
learn, maybe, because it's not really like a tutorial. But if you want to see how I was able to achieve this beautiful nighttime, summertime, sunset, mm, smoky out of the wing, then I will go ahead and keep watching and I will see you in the next video. For you.